Four queens, four stories. It's been three long weeks since I last checked on my four ant queens, who are in the founding stages of starting their own colonies. I've left them alone for a month, because last time, the queen of spades, my black harvester ant, had been eating her brood week after week, despite my efforts to improve her conditions. Now, I'm very eager to see their progress. Queen Midas started hiding her eggs as soon as she saw me, protecting her babies like a good mother. She is our biggest queen, and my personal favorite. Her brood is developing slowly, but steadily. Now for the other three. The Golden Galleons has seen a lot of growth. I see three cocoons, and even a little larva wiggling its head around asking for food. Kinda cute, and kinda gross. Aunt Bonnie was making huge progress. The Queen of the Relic Raiders had also been eating her eggs in the last episode, and was down to five. It looks like she still has five, so it's good that she stopped eating them, but they aren't as developed as the others. I don't even see any larvae yet. And now for the Queen of Spades. I really hope leaving her alone for this long has given her time to feel safe. Maybe she'll have laid a few more eggs. But when I pulled out her test tube, this is what I found. My heart sank. The Queen of Spades was dead. She had also eaten the remaining eggs. I am so sad her story is over. This was an important data point to learn from though. As the only two queens I have ordered online both died. My hypothesis is that the shipping process can be traumatic for a new queen, and that frequent check-ins are more likely to trigger a stress response, causing them to eat their brood. If I do order another queen online, I'm only going to check on her once every few weeks, to avoid this. As the following weeks went by, I noticed the remaining queens looking very still and unresponsive. It may not look like they're doing much, they are hard at work, tending to their first batch of workers. Each and every larva needs to be regularly cleaned and fed. In the wild, these queens do not leave their founding chamber to find food. That means they need to feed their growing children with nutrients from their own bodies. They have not had anything to eat in over 60 days, and they look exhausted, but I'm hoping they pull through. Two more weeks passed without much to report. The queens were busy raising their brood, until one morning, when I went to check on Queen Midas. No way! Her very first worker has arrived, and she's beautiful! Look at her beautiful honey color, and those big eyes! She's so cute! I can honestly say I've never been this excited about an ant. But I was in for an even bigger surprise when I went to check on the Golden Galleons. Oh my gosh! Six workers! They were a full-on colony now! And I could tell by the way they were pulling at the cotton trying to get out, they were hungry. So I decided it was time for the colony's first meal. I prepared a small dish with a drop of honey for sugar and a fruit fly for protein. They were a bit freaked out by the giant object that just invaded their home. They stood there for a while, and before they recognized it was food, you can actually see the queen feeding one of the workers. One brave worker decided to investigate, then immediately started drinking. Aunt Bonnie was next to join the feast and enjoy a well-earned meal. At the time of filming this, it had been 90 days since they were first put in their test tubes, and probably longer since they last ate. Aunt Bonnie and Queen Midas have done it. They beat the odds and made it through the hardest trial of their lives. From this point on, their daughters will now be in charge of taking care of the colony and bringing them food. The Queen's job now is to keep laying eggs so the colony can grow. It has been an incredible journey watching this unfold. I've gained such an appreciation for these fascinating and resilient little creatures we often overlook. But the story isn't over, it's just starting. Thank you to all of you for watching, and I will see you in the next update.